get separation, and then he finish his move. Second and nine, shotgun again, and again it's a handoff, and maybe a yard. And it was on the rebound, they call it. Well, there's your explanation. And now it's Bryce Petty from his own 35, and Petty throws complete over the middle. That's a new running back. He's Dave. Comes off of his hand. Oh, big overhand motion. Kind of kind of looks like Mike Lennon, who we had here a few years ago, became a third round pick of the Buccaneers. And he's got to hand it off on the first one here. That's David Cobb. Cobb across the 40. Cobb with a nice run, pushed out of bounds near the 45. It's a gain of 25, and Clayton Gathers knocked him out of bounds. Really nice cut in the hole. Gabe Wright from Auburn has got an opportunity to make a play for a negative gain. Watch the cut. He wins. There's the jump cut up the field. How, nice about the job, How about that second one in the open? He doesn't want us to go there. Yale's Tyler Varga into the game, and he gets his first carry behind a big hole on the left side across the 30, near 10 yards. Gabe Wright there, finally, after maybe enough for a first down. They're going to call it a gain of nine, second and one. That's a yoked up tailback. This oh, kid from yes. Yale is 5'10", 227, and when they do the weigh-ins the first day of the week, and they got to walk up there in gym shorts and... You know, height, weight, arm length, Looks like Mr. Olympia. Oh, man. Some guys, like don't, coach. some guys don't want to do that. <laughs> All right, some guys are like, oh, Now, you man. can tell the guy, Varga, he embraced it. Varga, Varga, Varga strolled out there. <laughs> and now he's off stage, the fullback, and David Cobb is the running back. Play fake, ball near the 10. Scramble around, and he's got the kind of athleticism to extend play, so I think he's helped himself in this game. A number of these players we're going to see playing in the National Football And could he play defensive back? Yes, but they think he'll be a terrific pro as a receiver. David Cobb has room on second and ten. That's a nice move for Cobb. The running back out of Minnesota, one of three Big Ten backs here. He gets to the 40, gain of 15, and a first down. Running backs look good today, don't they? they look yes, excellent. They do. Whoever's Jam carrying it. Jamil Douglas, take a look at over in the... Backside, Jamil Douglas is going to get a block right there. Just nice first. job cutting the cop. I mean, he he was he was glowing in his assessment of what he can offer you. Top of the sideline here is Varga, the only Canadian here. Tyler sets this morning before he came out here. And now Phil watches Cobb, who had that 15-yard run. Get yeah, a couple of yards. He more than held his own. It was intriguing to watch this week. Mannion on third and six looks right now. He's checking the ball. Down. Down. The ball got it. Then that ball came out, but they're going to rule it incomplete. He was right at the 50. Think he would have been short of the first down, and they're going to say he never hang on. Now, Ali Marpet, okay, here he is, Division Three player. Let's see how he does. We just talked him up. Look at this. And look Anchors. who he's working against. That was a heck of a job. That was a wasn't really it? good job. That was, jo that was Joey Imbu, wasn't it? From from uh, Houston that he was working against. There he is again. That's a 315-pound guy from University of Houston. He anchored. He shot it. Buys you time to learn how you to learn your craft. We're coming up again on a two-minute warning as Amir Abdullah makes a nice play and cuts away at the 40. Abdullah finally runs. So it's really in the brand's DNA, right? We believe in that college football, that college basketball, that college across. Saying, see, <laughs> see? Crowder's in motion. He's lined up there, slot left. That's Cobb again to the backfield in the hand with a straight run of the middle. Cobb, nice move, trying to get to the outside. Playing off the slot receiver up here. Marshall's going to make the tackle by getting off Crowder's block. Good job. How about that? No the tackle. You get a new set of downs on the sixth, second, and three with about four and a half to go in the third quarter. Cobb running nice left. Tackle. Brought down out of shotgun. With Varga and Cobb. Varga to the left, Cobb to the right. It's going to be Cobb under the leg. Cobb right up the middle and into the end zone. Touchdown for the North. Yeah, there was a reason Varga was in the game, and that was to be the lead blocker on draw. Yep, that's why they were in the two backs and gun. Yep. Just a lead draw. And Varga, who's really a running back that they've asked to play fullback a lot this week, who's yep. limping he's done off the a field. fine job of doing it, too. Sure he's has. accepted the challenge, hasn't he? Sure has. It's like Varga got dinged there, leading the way for eight carries, 63 Booyah. yards in that touchdown. Booyah. Eli Yale. <laughs> bula Bula. Watch him get down inside. Lead block on the on the linebacker. Cobb follows him. <laughs> drops the pad level. Really nice job. Here's Ali Marpet, number 50, getting the push. 
How about that? We got a look, We got Division Three Omar with the other key block. Look at look at you going bula bula for the Yale guys. For the NFL in my life. He's got the physical skill set if he can run fast enough to be a very special corner at the next level. Carden at quarterback from East Carolina. Varga is the running back after the play fake tries to get Varga. See how into it he was with his running back. Absolutely. Gain of 41 of the return. Bryce Petty is back. Tony Lippin from Michigan State's going to throw. And throw in. He's supposed, to, he's supposed to read run on that with the block motion. And he stayed with the play. Lippin looked like Julian Edelman. The thing was, though, that one was not complete for a touchdown. Varga, though, this is complete. And he follows his blockers well. Needed the 46, got the 48. Again, a 12 at a first step. Good game for the Yale kid, huh? Oh. Tough kid. He can do a lot of jobs. First job he can do is tailback. The second job he can do is fullback. Here you see from behind, he can catch the football and run after the catch. But the thing I also think he'll do, Charles, is play special teams. No, no, no question he'll about that. He'll be a core special teams player. Punt, punt, return, kick, kick, return. And now he is the up back. Varga averaged 143 yards a game his last season at Yale. He's blocking here for Amir Abdullah, who gets through the line, brought down by Bruin. So where do we see Varga catch a screen pass from Dot in the eye? Now where is he? Look, he's up front, and now he's going to have to lean. This is job number two. On the linebacker, Stephon Anthony gets movement, Abdul makes the cut. So when you talk about guys that are valuable in the NFL, remember, 53-man roster, you cut it down on game day. 46. So if you can save jobs, you're versatile enough to save jobs, you're going to play in that league a lot of years. Varga also picked off Anthony on the top touchdown run on the last possession. Here's Bryce Petty on the play fake. Petty from Baylor, the pump fake, flushed out, now throws downfield, and that one is caught. What a nice job. Mainly with the catch there, as mentioned, for 27, and here is Abdullah from Nebraska. Game six in that last run by Abdullah. Now it's Varga again. Varga's got a lead, and Varga's got a touchdown. Tyler Varga, the kid out of Yale, he blocked on the last touchdown, he runs this one in. Bula Bula! Yeah, I mean, the left side of the offensive line just crushed people. Did you see Jameel Douglas? Watch the one cut. Gets wide, really nice job by Douglas. Here's the one cut inside, and, you know, great day for the Yaley. But that time, I've got to give credit to Mill Douglas and that <laughs> offensive line. Clemming. I saw his ball in that boy. Early in the fourth, Varga blocked on the first one. He carries this one into the end zone in Mobile. Should have been higher given his talent. Second and 14. Again, a little bit of trouble for Mannion getting away from center, but he collects and finds Varga. And Varga again makes a nice move. Saw that in the 13 yard touchdown and said, This kid's got an NFL skill set at corner. Definitely. It's a 34 yard penalty. Gives him the ball to seven. Varga, does he get a second touchdown? He does. You got those two cats. Now, Something's wrong for us this week. Him and Zach Hodges. Watch the Harvard. cut. He makes a, a rare cut in the hole miss there. in the hole. Now, I'll bet you the guys on the South think he plays for BYU. Yeah. <laughs> but that why? They've never heard of Yale. Look, look at that. that. Look at that cut. Well, I'll tell you what. Not only does he have the two touchdowns, Mike, uh, again, on the David Cobb touchdown, when he lined up as the fullback, he was the one that hit Stephon Anthony, the big.